cool. <clears throat> I hope you've heard of the Nintendo Game Boy, an important part of video game history. history, 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 history. My cousin recently gave me her old Game Boy to see if I could restore it or fix it, so let's go ahead and see what it looks like. boy. Okay, we have work to do. If you look closely, you can see Sharpie everywhere. It's soaked into the plastic. But I mean, at least it works, right? <sighs> right, right? Yeah, I don't remember those letters in school. This is nothing a little alcohol can't fix. You're gonna wanna get the 91%. Don't cheap out and get the 90%. I don't even think that stuff works. There's been years of oxidation buildup, so this alcohol will help remove that. Okay, I know those letters. Ah, it's just like I remembered. Hard to see, kind of blurry, only works in certain angles of light. All right, so let's just break it down. We've got battery corrosion. We've got dried adhesive. We've got Sharpie everywhere. We have a screen that barely works. It's hard to see and there's lines missing. To open this thing up, we're gonna need a regular Phillips head screwdriver and a tri-wing screwdriver and a container to hold this because man, these screws are tiny. Yeah, yeah. I could just edit this out. Come on. Okay, I'm afraid to look at these, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to clean this too. Yep, just what I thought. They need to be cleaned too. I'm actually impressed with how well the alcohol is working. It's just working slow. It's a very slow process. I'm trying to make this goo be gone with goo gone. Be gone goo, go on get. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can speed this up. I'm just letting that soak in the alcohol now. It's looking a lot better, but it's not quite there yet, especially the backside. I'm just gonna have to go over that manually with a Q-tip and it's still not there yet. I just realized I forgot the um, the battery cover, but that's good. You can see how far we've actually come. For this step, I think it's good enough. I'm just gonna give it a little bath. Really scrub in there to get off anything else. This gives me hope, a little bit, a little bit of hope. So here's some of my knowledge about plastic. They used to put bromine in the plastic to help make it less flammable, but over time when exposed to the sun's UV light, that plastic would turn yellow. We can reverse this process. This 40 volume hair product has a high level of hydrogen peroxide. It's already in a paste form, so we're gonna spread it over the plastic and use a UV light to help reverse the process of the yellowing. And I put it in a Ziploc bag to help prevent it from drying out. It's been 14 hours later, so let's check it out.
What? Okay, I actually didn't think it would work this well, but it turned out so much better than I thought it would. It even helped remove the Sharpie that had soaked into the plastic for so many years. Okay, I'm probably gonna try this on a few other things. Honestly, the old Game Boy screen is pretty bad when compared to today's screens. And I found this little display kit from Handheld Legends. So the Game Boy still has the original hardware, it's just the display is going to be new. And we have to prep the case just a little bit, so we have to remove these parts here. It's just the display, so I'm going to unsolder the original speaker and solder it onto this board. That's all the soldering needed. The main display will snap to this small circuit board here. I'm going to remove the screen protector and add the included double-sided adhesive to the top and bottom of the display. I'm now going to adjust and align the screen and then tape it down. Maybe a little more tape. Let's go ahead and add the buttons and then close and screw this down. So we still have the original Game Boy hardware, but just a new display to really show off those games in the best way possible. I'm going to clean up the display the best I can and then use the double-sided adhesive to help hold it in place. And now the moment of truth. Does it even work? That's the same game. Look at that. That's the same game. This screen is so sharp. It looks like I'm playing the game for the first time. This is how the game should be experienced. But wait, there's more. This screen has some pretty cool features. The contrast wheel is also a button that can switch between different color palettes. So those four gray tones, you can actually have different colors that could help your game look better. Ah, okay, I have to play one of my favorite games, 007 for the Game Boy. Just listen to that 8-bit sound. I used to play this game all the time, I was so good at it. Okay, and I just died, and moving on, I hate this game, what's next? Jurassic Park. Okay, now like this, this is a better game. Good graphics, good music, good gameplay. Oh my god, I love that sound. Zelda Link's Awakening, a classic. They recently remade this for the Switch. So one last comparison, this is my old Game Boy, and you can see how yellow the plastic is compared to our restored Game Boy. This camera actually has a Guinness World Record. In 1998, this was the smallest digital camera. And it's weird, it's like, it's weird. So this is the old Game Boy camera filming my new modern day camera. But the real fun for this was taking a picture and adding little stamps and drawing on their face and making it all wacky and fun. Oh my god, okay, this still has some of my old photos. My grandma who passed away. Cats that I had growing up. This is me looking silly as a kid. And that little kid never thought that I'd be here making a video restoring that Game Boy and showing these old photos. I just want to say how happy I am that this actually turned out okay. It looks much better than I thought it was going to be. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed putting this together and hope to see you next time.